This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome uh, to 3D Boxing Podcast. Back with another edition of Quick Hits. Um, Devin Haney puts together a masterful performance in taking out Jojo Diaz. Um, I picked Diaz to win. I was wrong. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog on all forms of social media. Um, please also subscribe to the other channel. Texas back to see all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, so let's get into today's fight. Um, Devin Haney, I, I, I thought this was the performance that he needed. I said um, on, on Twitter that we're going to find out this is a 50 50 fight, and we're going to find out a lot about Devin Haney. Um, I think the first round, Devin Haney came out and did really good. He, um, he wasn't just running. He wasn't off the back foot, just going, you know, running, going backwards. Um, he, he was standing his ground. He had Joe Chodias going backwards at points. Um, he, he really established himself and stood his ground. Um, now, later in the fight, yeah, Haney spent most of the time on the back foot, um, which is fine. Uh, but I'm saying he wasn't going to be able to do that for all 12 rounds. There was times that he was going to have to stand in there, stand his ground, and fire. And he did do that. Uh, his body attack was ferocious. A really, really good body attack. I wasn't expecting him to land that many body shots. Um, a lot of his shots, a lot of his power shots were, 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 were to the body. Um, I, I was impressed by that. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Haney showed to, to me what I wanted to see. Um, he showed me, you know, JoJo's not the biggest puncher, okay? But what he did with... Jojo was what I wanted Caleb Plant to do against Canelo. Now I'm not comparing Jojo to Canelo, right? Um, you know, Canelo is a much bigger puncher than, than Jojo. Canelo is a lot better than Jojo, right? Canelo is a lot better than Jojo. But like, I wanted Plant to stay in there, exchange, you know, and, and, and not just run the whole time. If you just run the whole time, you're gonna gas out, and and that's what we saw with Caleb Plant. Um, jo- Haney did not run the whole time. He stood in there when he had to. He exchanged when he had to, and he did well in some exchanges. Now, yes, his game plan is to be on the back foot, so that's what he's going to do a lot of the time, most of the time. But he can't do it the whole. You can't run for twelve rounds against some guy that can, you know, that can break you down. Um, he got hit, you know, but this is a world championship caliber fight, and you're going to get hit. I thought t- 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 today. Um, this is Haney's best performance. Uh, what I, I was going to say is I still don't like the way that he responds to getting hit. Um, I didn't like the way that he responded when Lenares hit him, and I didn't like the way that Diaz hit him. I, I feel if Diaz would have had Lenares' power, this might have been a, a totally different fight, but he doesn't. Like I said, um, in the pre-show, um, JoJo's not a puncher. It's just not a puncher. You know, we've seen him tee off on guys, and it doesn't really stop him. He doesn't really break him down. You know, he, he's just not a puncher. Um, I, I know he's not. Um, people think he is. I, he, I think he thinks he is, but he doesn't have much pop, and, and that's evident in, in what we see. Um, but this was an excellent performance by, by Haney, and, and it, it was what you wanted to see because I had not been hyper-impressed with the Norris fight or the Gamboa fight. This is what I wanted to see from Haney. Um, he showed a level of greatness in this fight. Like, he showed, okay, yeah, this is why we hyped this kid up so much, you know, from the time he was 17 years old on. This is why. Um, and, again, the body shot, that right hand, that really – Overhand right hand that he was throwing. I, I don't think I've seen him, or at least not thrown it as often as he did. That was good. I wouldn't expect that. He did a lot, he pulled out a lot of things. Like this was his biggest fight to date. It was his best opponent to date. And he did what he had to do. A much better performance than the Lenora's fight. Um I, I know a lot of people like the Gamboa fight. Gamboa's completely aged out. You know, Gamboa is shot. Um, I, he, he dominated Gamboa, and, and some people are going to say, oh, he put on a virtuoso boxing clinic. I, I don't think so. I just think Gamboa was shot, and 
I, I didn't love what he did just off the back foot the whole time. Um, I really liked what Haney did this time. I said for the first round, oh, okay, if he does this, he's going to win a fight. He, he kind of changed my mind. And I want to give credit to Jojo Diaz, too. Jojo Diaz came forward. He did what he had to do. I think he needed to get more aggressive. Uh, I, I think when he let it all out in the 12th round, I think he needed to start that in the 10th. Um, I had it 115, 113. So I had JoJo in the fight. Like uh, the judges had 17, 11, twice, and 16, 12. I had it 15, 13. I've seen that a lot on social media. I've seen a lot of 15, 13, and 16, 12 on social media. Uh, 17, 11 is probably too wide. It's probably That's probably not indicative of what happened in the ring. But, you know, it was, it was a close fight where I, I thought Haney did enough to win the round. I had it 115, uh, 113 for, for, for Haney. Um, Really, really good performance, though. Uh, Diaz, you know, one round. Like, he was down two. I had him win the third, right? And he was winning rounds, I, I thought, when he had to, right? He won the ninth to keep himself in, and then he won the 11th. And, uh, he won rounds to keep himself in the fight. Uh, but it just wasn't enough. Um, I, I think he could have done things better. Um, a lot of times he was just cutting. He wasn't cutting off. He was just following um, Haney around the ring. That's not going to do it. You know, that's not going to work. Stand your ground. Cut the ring off. Don't just follow him around the ring. Um, that's not and, – and he was doing a bit of that. Again, I, I thought he should have jabbed his way in more, although Haney was money with his counters. So, you know, it's easier said than done. I can say to do that, uh, but I'm not the one eating straight rights when I do. Uh, but Haney, you know, Diaz did things well. I think he could have done a couple of things better. I, I, I do think if they fought again, which they probably won't because, you know um, – Haney's got maybe one or two more fights at the 40. One's Cambosis, and, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe Ryan Garcia, and then he goes to 40. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, it was a, it was an excellent fight. You know, I give it a, a B plus or an A minus. Both guys kind of imposed their will. Kind of guys did, you know, what they wanted to do, except Haney was the better man. Uh, Haney's best performance, I think. You know, that was his first, I would say, championship performance, right? Like, there's a high level of opposition, high level opponent. Haney got the job done. He got the job done, um, and and he showed new new glitches, right? Not new, new you know, new new, new traits uh, that that overhand overhand right, like, like and, and that he was landing in the body attack was ferocious. So, and uh, we saw that he can stand in. He's not just a runner. He's not just gonna be off the back foot the whole time. He can stand in there. He can trade when he has to. He can stand in the pocket, make you miss, and, and hit you. He can he can be first, or he can counter you. Uh, I, you know, all in all, I give Devin Haney an A- minus on that performance. A little bit of room for improvement, but really, really good. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing uh, Quick Hits comes to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's near and dear to our heart. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. It is December 4th, 2021. Um, Ivan Calderon is not in the Hall of Fame. We're going to find out if he gets in. We'll find out soon. Uh, let's get Ivan Calderon in the Hall of Fame from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.